Good morning and welcome back to Rimworld. Right, okay, I have Carissa doing a little bit of mining over here, uh, just to stock up on steel. I think I've picked as much as I can in this vein without causing anything to collapse. And I've uh, set a quite a lot of floor and the, uh, the walls that are already existing here to be uh, disassembled. So um, we'll get a few cheap materials back. The floors are pretty quick and easy to take up. But I uh, just wanted the, the roofs to be removed first before we uh, get any problems with collapsing on our colonists. Just going to finish off removing these floors that are being revealed. And Chris is getting really quite fast at mining now. Nice, okay. We'll get this done pretty quickly, I think. It's funny the order they do things in. It's definitely not the order that I flag things in. Yeah, they're so fast at doing the floors now. Just cheap, cheap materials, really. Um, we got any more that I've missed there? No, nope, I think that's everything. Nice, there's a nice uh, gap through here now. Um, I don't know if I really ought to get some more roofing um, removed along this sort of strip here. I think it would probably, probably make sense. Um, let's get a little bit more mining done. I think we'll be good to do all of that. I'll leave the uh, stuff that's under mountain. Nice, okay, we've got a good amount of steel there. Uh, the animals should come over here and pick up the uh, the blocks. Uh, we just had a little warning about some tattered apparel. Um, I do want Mandrel to go and pick up a helmet. Um, you don't love that. Can I clear forced on you? How do I clear forced? I've forgotten. Um, gear, show list. Yeah, okay. Clear forced. Um, no, okay. Oh, I've completely, I must admit, forgotten how to do that. There we go. I found it. Right, okay. Been a while. Good, that's that sorted then. So, uh, yeah, we had tattered apparel for Mandrel. Um, why are you still not happy? Oh, you need, you need some pants as well. Right, let's get a set of pants queued up as well. We'll get those prioritised. Nice. Oh, we've got some flak jackets going on as well. I've forgotten that I'd... Uh, set those up so um, yeah we'll get our people kitted out um, we've just finished our research on oh gosh what did we what did we work on last time all oh, complex furniture um, I can't remember what it was that we worked on but anyway we'd finished that so I've just set them working on prosthetics just in case we need to replace the odd leg or Anything like that. We are still desperately in need of some gold so that we can craft our multi-analyzer. And that will unlock the next level of, um, of uh, research. Yeah, so that's something we need to work on as well. How are these guys doing over here? Yeah, pretty good. Okay. Um, how's the... Yeah, I think I've gotten about as much of the of the steel out of that area as I uh, really want them to do. Oh, there's some here though, uh, which we can definitely flag up. That'll do the whole mine that's um, visible. Okay, that's good. We're definitely going to need the, those resources. I don't know if we've got anywhere to store that stuff at the moment. I think this, I might have to change this to steel. Uh, raw resources. I might put some steel in here as well. We've got an overflow here for the wood. Um, yeah, okay. Right, we've got transport pods that I've um, placed as well. And I'm going to start sending these to our neighbours. Now, I think 
we're probably going to need um, quite a, a far distance on the, on the fuel for this one. Um, our factions in the world, we need to improve our factions with the dark blue, uh, which is Ula. We're on negative 12 at the moment. Um, I think that's the nearest. Prosthetics is finished, that's fine. I think that's the nearest one to us, yeah. So, I don't know how near or far that is, but we'll set the uh, the fuel target up a little bit. And then I've got a couple of um, sculptures. Um, and maybe we can sort of put a few more things in there and ship that over to them and try and just improve our uh, relationships with them. Um, Ker uh, Griselda, by the way, has the flu. Um, minor. Pretty uh, pretty much guaranteed going to su survive. Not No problems there, but... Oh, we've got a bulk goods trader. Right, KS Incorporated. Okay, who's our talky person? Let's have a quick look. Um, our best warden is Christian. I think I'm going to wake Christian up and get, uh, get him to come and talk to... The trader, if we could get ourselves some gold, we can really move things along a little bit. Um, they've got chocolate, I see that. Gold, yes, okay. How much would it be to buy all of it? 15, okay. And what can we sell? Um, yeah, let's see. Nine seventy-seven. That is better. And let's look at the plasteel again. I did want to buy chocolate, of course. Plasteel. Where was that? I've lost it in the list. Here it is. Um, One hundred and fifteen. Let's just buy fifty. And that's three hundred and forty-seven. Let's let's make sure I've got that correct. So we're we're buying some chocolate. We're selling them a bunch of cloth. Um, our light leather, leather, lizard, lizard skin, wolf skin. Uh, we're buying some plasteel, selling some junk clothes and some old helmets and bits and pieces and some statues and buying some gold. Nice! Oh, finally. Right, okay. Let's have a look at crafting our multi analyzer. Now, where on earth are we going to fit this thing? I guess it's going to have to go. Down in that area, maybe. Um, it really needs to be right in the middle of this, but it really should be. I think I might move these uh, pet beds um, and we'll put them down here in this corner. Uh, actually cancel that one which one is moving let's reinstall you and let's reinstall this heater where can we put the heater that's not going to be in the way probably there okay hopefully the guys will get to it very soon and then we can put the multi analyzer in the main crafting room how about that Finally, after such a long time, I think our raids will probably ramp up a little bit now um, that we uh, we get that uh, that installed and start doing a little bit more advanced uh, research. Maybe okay, we'll need some more statues. So what do we have on the bill here? We've got one large sculpture and a couple of smalls remaining um, this is good that um, along this line here is where our goods arrive from the traders so at least they're not sort of stuck outside in a dangerous area that's pretty decent okay we've got a parker made uh, tattered apparel forks you're not happy what are you needing um, oh wow you need some pants um, the helmet's fine at the moment, but um, you could definitely do with another one. So let's get another set of pants made. 
And let's get another helmet made. We've got plasteel now. We could make some advanced um, helmets. We've got a little bit of gold left as well. That's pretty good. Um, how many components and stuff have we got? <gasps> Six. Okay. Well, this is done. Research speed factor is plus ten. Um, so, research-wise, we can now work towards the next level. Um, are we actively researching anything? We're not. Let's do vitals monitor. And then we need advanced, uh, we need fabrication and advanced fabrication. But I think vitals monitor in the um, hospital, next, uh, next most important thing there. So this research should pretty much um, speed along at a really good rate. We've got two workbenches plus the multi-analyzer multi in this room, so... Yeah, let's hope that works out quite well. And we've got all of this steel over here. Um, no. Yep, none of the rest of that particularly I want to mine. That's good. Trader has left comms range. Let's just make sure we've got no dead animals. Yeah, we do. Let's get that hauled in. We never know when there might be toxic fallout. Uh, we do have an absolute load of meat, but that isn't going to stay. It will get used up. Uh, there was a lynx somewhere nearby. Uh, there's another one up here, so I think this lynx has definitely been busy. Or maybe the, the tortoise? Uh, Mad Ibex Ram. Um, okay, you're maddened. I don't know why. You're not maddened, and neither are you. We need to get a bit of a hunting party out. I think I'm going to draft you, guys. Um, bring you out here. And we'll see if we can take this ram. Okay, Christian is shooting. Come on, guys. Come out and help. Nicely done. Very nicely done. Okay, you guys can uh, go back in. That's great. Very cool. Okay, so we're getting some good free food. I'm trying to keep on top of uh, spotting that in the world. We've got another animal out here. What are these things dying from? Let's have a look. Malnutrition. Um, log. A sharp trap. Oh, okay. Well, we'll haul it in. It's all food. So that might have been one of the ones that was injured um, during the the last Manhunter event that we had. Could be. Well, we're going to be fine for food for a little while anyway. Looks like Fawkes is uh, getting on with some butchering. That's good. Uh, we're getting some medicine made. Doing pretty well on medicine. Uh, research is sort of underway. It's going to take a while. I'm not sure whether I want to floor in the um, corpse room. Um, we have uh, 375 blocks. Um, I guess we could floor in underneath the um, generators, maybe. That might be a, a decent, um, decent thing to do, just to sort of stop. Um, let's see, sorry, let's pick sandstone. Um, fires and stu uh, such from really taking hold, maybe. Don't know if they'll be able to get to every single piece of floor, but we'll flag it all up. Give them something to do. Um, Griselda, how are you doing health-wise? Blue miner still, 81 and 50. I mean, you're going to be fine, but you're still resting. Well, we've got these transport pods, but we don't really have anything to send our friends. Um, apart from maybe some clothes and the odd weapon. Um, yeah, we need the uh, we need these sculptures being made. 
Uh, Carissa, what exactly are you doing? You're going to come and work on sculptures now. Well done. Let's get a couple more large ones made. And maybe just, well, let's do three large ones and one small one, seeing as they've already started one of them. Um, in fact, as one of those is nearly complete, once you've done this large one. Oh, we've got a psychic ship. God damn it, right, okay. I am that's really close to the base as well. Um, right, I need to definitely get some fire fighting done. Um, if they get too close to this, is it, a, you know, it, will it, um, will it open the ship? Let's just sort of, you know, give it, give it a couple of squares around each, uh, in each direction. We'll try and keep the guys uh, away from there. Don't quite know how that works. But let's stop it from spreading any further, I think. Have to be ready to pull the guys in if, if it kicks off. Yeah, keep, uh, keep on top of it. I think it's just going to keep reigniting, unfortunately, but... There we go. Right, that is good. Oh, they're actually cleaning that area as well. Oh, that's so funny. Right, um... Right, we need to do something about this psychic ship, so... Um, let's restrict everyone into the raid area. Um, I think we need to hold that one open and I am going to recruit Cleo to come and do that and I'm going to close this one um, and I'm going to recruit Lulu to do that one so Cleo so that one is open and they've definitely got a good path through there that's fine um, right Lulu yeah, I didn't think I'd done that right. Let's just cross that through. And if you come through there now, that should close behind you. Awesome. Right, animals, let's make sure you stay in raid zone as well. And uh, let's just look at raid. Is raid okay? Yeah, raid's, raid's pretty good. Right, we are going to have to shoot that ship. Um, wow, that's just outside minimum range um, so Chennai come and man that mortar and we'll set the ship off hopefully and maybe <gasps> hang on a minute what's happened here granite door um, who's nearby I need to get that door closed why is that door open I wonder uh, forks come to this door for me please Maybe I'll set that to hold fire just for the moment. Right, forks, you can please go free. Nice. Okay. Right, Chennai. Give it your best shots. Bolt goods trader. Are you... Uh... Oh my god, we've got some caravans coming in. Or a caravan, should I say. That's fine. Um, okay, hold fire, set foot target, okay it's, it's firing, oh my gosh right okay, maybe these guys will set it off, let's try again, we've got another shell coming through, yeah you're not doing a very good job Chennai, just saying. Quite a radius already. Yeah, I don't think he can hit it from here. I think we might need to uh we might need to set that off. Oh please don't hurt our people. Yeah, I might abandon this. Stop the forced attack. Um clear prioritize work. Chennai, um if I get you to come here. 
and maybe we'll shoot at it. That might be the easiest way. They've got some chickens. Our, the visitors have got some chickens. Okay, um, right, Chennai, can you reach this thing from there? You can. And please get ready to run straight back inside. So, okay, let's uh, drop it down to one. Let's get you straight back inside quickly, quick as you can. Quick as you can. Oh, they're going to kill the chickens. Oh, poor chickens. Well, the good thing is we'll have some chickens later. Right, you can go free. All our people are inside. Well, that that's extreme. I'm sorry, but that's a little bit extreme. A little bit of a stunning way to try and kill some chickens. Wow. That was hilarious. Right, the place is going to burn down out here, but we can allow it. Our people are, are fine indoors. Um, we really need to get our visitors involved somehow. I wonder if it's worth just trying to target them, maybe. These guys are kind of moving around. So maybe that'll be a good thing. Let's get um, let's get Christian on there. I'd love to get our uh, visitors involved, get them fighting. Let's speed things along a little bit. Our traps have gone just outside the base here, that's unfortunate. Right, here we go. Christian, are you going to be better at this? No, not really. They are kind of installed in the wrong area, aren't they? Okay, another, another shot. We just need them to get a little bit aggro. Come on. Just one or two of them, that would do. If you could just hit one or two. I don't think it's uh, it's gonna work out for us. Mm, that was closer. You kind of got another shot on the chicken. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should get another one of these targeted and manned, maybe. Um, and still mortar. Set force target. Yeah, you're going for that one. Let's get you going for that one. That's oh nice. Okay, that's much better. Right, 77%. So they're coming round the corner to our friends, unfortunately. Let's slow this down a little bit. These guys are not gonna they've only got bows. Oh what a shame. Let's toggle the uh, speech bubbles off. Oh, they got one down. Very good. They're, they're not going to do very well against these guys, though, are they? Oh, they're melee attacking. You go, guy. Oh, uh, well, that kind of didn't last very long, but it was quite, quite a good effort. Pack animals are fleeing. They're going. A couple of them have stayed behind, though. Chick another chicken's on fire. Oh, what a shame. I feel a little bit guilty. Um, okay, we're still kind of um, aiming at our own base. Let's set force target on this ship and to see if these guys can can actually hit it. Because we're, we're too close here. And if they can get the ship a little bit lower, then the guys would actually come through uh, our defences. Look at Trogo doing some work. And the world's on fire here. Oh, they're chasing people down. It's keeping them busy, at least. While we target the t while we uh, target the ship. 
uh, operating turret and yep good okay come on guys hit this ship and we can get them to come through very nice they're going to come through our defense our um, trap now they should come and attack us that's uh, as long as they don't go after the poor visitors i feel a bit bad about that actually uh oh this one over here this lancer is going for my uh chair that's actually a really good way of um keeping them busy giving yourself a little bit of time look at him melee attacking a chair really this is taking you that long why are we still going for the ship i probably should cancel that now stop forced attack and stop forced attack and you two guys can go free and it looks like the centipedes are maybe thinking about coming down here it's raining we will unforbid all items um, let's see we might have chickens down here as well oi what are you doing That Lancer's a bit confused. Come into the base. There's a door open here. Got some lovely traps waiting for you. They're not coming in. That's weird, isn't it? Um, is the ship not damaged enough? 17? Yeah, no. What else are they considering? Oh, it's because there's a person here downed. Oh, no. Okay, one of them's coming in. They've decided to attack. No, they're going back again. Uh, okay, Chennai. Let's get you... I don't know. Let's get you here. Uh, maybe that'll tempt them through. If they see you coming out of, the, uh, out of the base. I think it's this visitor here is confusing them. Or maybe this um, is a little bit too convoluted for them this entrance and no they needed they needed something there just to tempt them in we'll get them coming down towards this area let's get that door shut let's get you maybe over there we do need them to come through the trap so hang on a second they've turned around again they're coming again right okay let's get you there i do i do want you to be in an accessible area but I also want you to be a little bit protected so we've got the Lancer down what is that yeah Lancer okay I think we've got plenty of traps here should take care of the uh, centipedes I'm hoping they've got to go through well quite a quite an area Hmm, I've not done that very well actually, have I? Chennai, maybe you might want to come here. Um, and then they'll be tempted to sort of come through, I think. Yeah, this next... Oh, we, we're going to need some people. We are going to need some people. So Chennai, you're fine. Um, Lilu, let's get you next as well. And Sonika, I'm afraid I'm going to need all of you down here. Because these, these things aren't going to go down. I might have made a really big mistake here. You're injured, but you're not, you know. Um, yeah, you're not uh, injured enough. For my liking. I could get you guys to head outside. How are you going to get to us? You're coming this way. You're going to run through all the traps, maybe? Maybe you'll try and break through the door or something. We've got the one at the top there is going the right way. It, I mean, it is very slow. It's definitely um, moving more slowly. Okay, let's get ready, guys. I'm um, going to need you to target this thing as it comes in, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. Okay, come on. 
Sonika, are you fine? No long till it can fire again. I think Sonika might need to move here. Oh, you're actually putting the fire out. I don't think the, I don't think the guys can can hit this from here. Oh dear, oh dear. How much have we got left on this uh, centipede? It's pretty closely. Oh yeah, it's down. Okay, you guys. Um, right, target this one next, obviously. Oh, that one's still bad, but not quite as bad. Sonika, you've been very brave now. Well done, guys. You did it. You did it. Right, okay. You can all go free. Oh, wow. Right, I need somebody to head outside. So uh, let's go to unrestricted. All of the animals. You can all go free now. Um, who's got a gun? Who's in pretty good condition? Let's get you out here to shoot this uh, ship. And we're definitely going to need to rebuild this wall here. And all of these traps outside as well. Uh, oh, let's get somebody... No, not you. Not that. Hang on a second. Cleo, can you rescue, please? As soon as you can. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I did that one too well, but it, it worked out in the end. Um, so, can you shoot this ship, please? Get rid of this. Nice. Okay, you can go free. Could we please? All of these things urgently. We definitely need that and that and then that and that we will allow and they can haul that in whenever. Mm. Cogopods, pods. Very nice. Devil Strand. Okay. Hello. Uh, right. Yeah, we've got a we've got a links up here. Ooh, I, I feel quite uh, bad about um, using our neighbours there to our advantage. Right, we need to hold that open. I'm going to need... Oh, there's some people in the hospital now. Right, Buffy, um, come and open this door for me, please. And then I'll need you to shut that other door. Okay, people are getting tended. Very cool. And if you come up here to this one. Yep, good. So we need you hauled. And then we need these things hauled as well, if you would. Hauled. Yep, yeah, okay, Buffy. I think, um, I think you can go free now. Yep. Awesome. What are you? Are you eating? Are you eating pemmican? I'm going to need to replace these traps. I like the uh, the guy who melee'd uh, the centipede. That was pretty pretty uh, hardcore. Okay, let's get some more of these traps in place again. So we'll want one in the corner. They do love to run down this area, so... go. Oops, no, not there. Cancel you. Let's grab a copy of that one. Put you in the corner there and there. Um, yeah, I don't think we need any more. That should be fine. And then all of those need replacing, but they'll get to work on that. It's a shame the animals can't bring the uh, the wood to the required area. It could be quite useful. Cleo is working on those. That's fine. Look at all these muffalo outside. Good, we've got some resources there we can do. Uh, Bandit Camp Quest. Uh, an AI Persona Core. Okay. 
Um, how many? Six enemies. Okay. Uh, jump to location. That's pretty close. That is pretty close. Uh, let's have a look on the travel distance. Uh, 1.32 days. That's definitely doable. Right, research is coming along. We could have done with those vital monitors before now, but that's fine. Yeah, Forks is taking those uh, centipedes away. Lilu and Mandrill, are you, a, are you an item, guys? Oh, we've got uh, sensory mechanites. Who have we got in here? Cleo? Uh, Carissa? No, okay. Mandrill and Lilu. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Carissa and Lilu. Uh, two, yeah, okay. Two sicknesses. Well, I'll have to manage that as best as we can. The chocolate's nearly gone. Just got one square left. I really ought to plant some uh, cocoa trees. Yeah, I think um, keep them happy. How are your injuries, Sneaker? Because you did a grand job of standing there on fire, and I think at some point you were actually putting the fire out. The centipede's inferno cannon damaged Sneaker's head. Oops. So you've probably got pretty hideous burns then. Oh well. We have good medical facilities. And how are you doing, Trogo? I'm so sorry, we. Oh yeah, you're not you're not well. I'm so sorry we um just kind of abandoned you to uh to that ship there. That was uh probably not very nice of us. Um right, we've got another statue here, a uh, sculpture. Uh on this piece is an image of Carissa right, uh, waiting in a chair, wearing a dead look. In the distance, a field is visible. The lower part of the image is dominated by eight dancers. The style is sensual with neoclassical elements. This portrayal relates to Carissa playing games at a horseshoes pin on the 5th of December. Area. I'm sure our friends across the map will love that. Um, and actually we've got a few bows and things as well now to, uh, to send over to them. So I need to get these bodies hauled in. I'm sorry guys. I know you don't like doing that but... It's not really very fair leaving them outside. Uh, we've got a rat in here. Um, I need to get these walls um, replaced. I might make all of this um, home zone. It is home zone, so they should really come and replace this all soon. Oh, I haven't expanded home zone into that area. Uh, to cover um, our corpse pile. Yeah, let's make sure all of those walls are included in home zone two. Uh, and this here is kind of not covered, just in case there's any, you know, splash damage from bullets or anything like that make sure that wall is covered too. Oh, and these doors here. Um, and not that for some reason. But we will expand that there and that there. I think that's everything. Yeah, that's good. Right, good. Okay. This didn't exactly work out as I was expecting, to be honest. Um, I think I might be missing... No, actually, you know what, it's fine. Um, because we had the centipedes come down here, up here, along, and then they started heading down here towards my people, rather than going in there. So it's a little bit too complex, I think. Um, I really ought to rejig this, but I don't use this one that often. Um, it did the job, it did the job, and the pe our people finished uh, finished it off fine, so I'm sure it'll be good. Obstructed generator. Oh, okay. Locked by an oak tree. Ah, that, that we can fix. That we can definitely fix. 
We'll get you to do that once you've finished these uh, traps. Got a little rat in the base. I think he's trapped in here. Got some pemmican deteriorating, yep. It's understandable, it's pretty miserable outside. Uh, yep, some steel being brought in, okay. Let's just have another look around the map for any dead animals. Um, our relations, by the way, I don't think we're really particularly affected by that whole encounter. Uh, we just need to improve things with um, Ula. I'll let the uh, I'll let the guys rebuild and rearm all of these areas before we get them to load up any transport pods, though I think. Um, but I'm just looking at the clock and we are nearly 45 minutes in. There's a little bit to go on the research. Definitely want to work on... Um, yeah, we've got to get fabrication done. We need to then get advanced fabrication. Um, possibly it would be nice this time around to do some pulse charge munitions. Um, but yeah, we need fabrication so that we can make our own components. Um, but let's get the, the hospital sorted first. How are you? Yeah, not too long and you should be out of here. That's good. Um, what else do we need to think about? Yes, yeah, some of the bodies are getting called through now by the animals, so tidy the area up a little bit. You're using wood. Yeah, actually, actually that worked out quite nicely, having that wood there for those traps at the top. Do I need to get some more wood chops? I think I do. Um, yeah, okay, let's uh, flag up some more trees to be cut down. Um, really what I should work on is these sort of areas really close to the base. Um, and that way, when fires start, we're, we're sort of not really going to lose our traps. Um, what I probably should do is invest some of our blocks in creating some paving underneath our traps and stuff. Oh, I don't want to do down here. Hang on a second. I'm going a bit crazy here with the, with the chopping. Okay, yeah, so a little bit of damage they need to work on there. That's fine. Sounds like that rat's finally found the trap in this area. Um, yep, some log chopping is going on, so the animals should start bringing that through. A lot of it will get used for the traps and uh, and we'll be back. We'll be back in positive territory. Okay, well I think that is a good place to leave the episode. It was pretty interesting having that psychic ship right on our doorstep. Um, Maybe these traps down here should be steel. We've got quite a bit of steel and I think there's still a bit sort of sitting around on the map for us as well. And I, um, as I say, next time around I might invest in, you know, making a double layer of, or even a triple layer of flooring around the edge of the base where these traps are um, so that we, uh, we don't get them all set on fire by the environment. Um, but anyway, that is going to be it for today. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.